So in my previous video on updating the maps on the iPACE, I mentioned the idea of using a 32 gigabyte USB stick to do that update. Now unfortunately this is a bit of a problem now because the maps seem to have got so large they no longer fit on a 32 gigabyte stick. Now the USB stick has to be formatted as, as FAT32 and that's a problem because on Windows the size of a FAT32 disk is actually limited to 32 gigabytes. So how do we manage to format our 64 gigabyte stick um, so that we can use it on the iPlace? Well there's a nice tool available if you search for FAT32 um, formatter GUI on Google or on Bing um, you'll see this link come up. Now if we click on this one, I'll put this in the show notes, um, in the, the, the video notes, so you can see it. Um, but if you click through here, you then get this FAT32 format, and you have to click on the image to actually load it. Um, and then you'll see it will download, and if we click open or run, that runs probably slightly easier because it's just going to, it doesn't install this, it just runs. Um, you'll see you'll get the FAT32 formatter. And once it's run up, we have the choice of which um, USB drive we want to use. And I'm going to use this one which here, which is actually the um, 64 gigabyte USB stick I've just bought for this purpose. I've um, formatted this before, which is why it's showing up as iPace. But you could put in your own volume name here. Um, as I said, I've used iPace uh, as the, uh, the, the the volume name here, so I don't get confused when I've got a lot of USB sticks. Um, anyway, we'll format that away and uh, we're now ready for use to download the navigation to and then you can just follow the instructions i had on the previous video hope that helps